Welcome YouTube to my review of the Mica Origin uh, USB DAC and preamp headphone amplifier. Um, this is a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz uh, DSD headphone amplifier. Now, DSD is supposed to be like a new version of the next ba big thing, the next revolution in headphone amplifier technology. So while there's not very many things, just like with any new format um, that have it, it's good to kind of future-proof yourself when you're looking for uh, a headphone amplifier. Now, this is a nice little tiny headphone amplifier, and it's very simple and very easy to use right out of the box. Uh, this is the box that it comes with. The headphone amp sits in between those two things. You get this RCA to three and a half millimeter adapter, little owner's manual, and a driver utility CD. Now there are drivers for download online off of Micah's website that you can just download. So that CD is kind of archaic, um, honestly, for today's day and age, because how many people still even have an optical drive on their computers? All right, so with that being said, you can see the mica in the background. Now, I really, really like this headphone amplifier. And for me, I was recommended this by Zeos of Z Reviews. And I wanted a relatively cheap headphone amplifier that could power, you know, a decent set of headphones. And he recommended this headphone amplifier. I was thinking about, you know, maybe getting a Fio uh, E10K or, you know, some of shit's gear, but this offers almost the same usage as the E10K with the same price tag and about half the price tag of a shit stack. And the shit stack doesn't even have DSD capabilities. So one of the things that I do really like about this unit is this little graph here. And it lets me know that I'm in PCM at 192 kilohertz and that the unit's on. And it's got a nice knob. It's very big and easy to turn. And if you have it sitting on your desk, you can just very easily move it around. Uh, it's got a nice satisfying click to turn it on and off. Most DACs will continue, even though it's a very low amount of power, continue to use and drain power uh, anytime your computer is on. So that puts, you know, a load on, whereas you put the computer in standby and whatnot, and you just go, and it's nice, and it's a nice, satisfying click. Now, this is not a notched knob. It's a very smooth um, knob, and I'm not really sure what type of um, voltage correspondence this thing has, but it's very nice. It's very linear, at least in volume output, um, and it's a very well-made unit. It's not, it's not flashy by any means. It's just nicely constructed. It has these nice little rubber feet that stick out maybe about two millimeters off the bottom, but when you put it flush on the desk, it looks like it's sitting right on the desk. So it's great. It comes with a quarter inch adapter on the front or plug on the front and a three and a half millimeter plug on the front so you can plug two things in at once now I plug two things in at once one time and I fried a USB slot on my motherboard because it I guess drop the ohms too low. This was pulling too much power for the little five volt USB to continue to pump out and it fried the, the USB slot. So just be forewarned, 
While you can plug two devices into this, you probably should not. Now, this thing has low gain and high gain, or 0 dB and negative 10 dB, however you want to read it. Uh, you should listen to using, the manual says start off on, high, on negative 10 and gradually increase the volume to your desired listening level. And unless you have incredibly hard to drive headphones, you don't need the high gain setting at all. Uh, this thing, for being just a USB headphone amplifier, really, really pumps out good volume. Now, I have a set of Fostex THX hundreds here for demo purposes, and I will, uh, you know, play something real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I will hold them about here, just in front of the camera, and you'll hear how loud these things will push these headphones. Now these headphones, granted, aren't very hard to drive. Now that's about two-thirds volume. So, this thing definitely, definitely pumps out volume. Now, one of the things that I wanted to show is on Zeos' video, he talks about the red and um, blue LED. Now, the red and blue LED is not for lows and highs. It's actually showing you uh, the left ear and the right ear, or the left channel and the right channel's uh, signal strength. Um, how useful that really is, not very, but it's kind of a cool little feature that's, you know, at least worth noting. Um, now, this works like a pre-out, so as you adjust the volume here, this pre-out gets volume adjusted as well, just like any pre-out would. Now, that's good and bad depending on your setup. If you have a set of um, powered monitors and you're pre-outing to your powered monitors, it could be good for you to be able to control you know, the line output voltage to them. But if you're pre-outing to uh, another amplifier for desktop speakers that aren't powered, then you would want full line level and then it would be kind of a pain in the ass to, you know, not terribly a big pain in the ass, but you'd want to unplug these and then turn this all the way up and have it, you know, outputting full, full line voltage. And as you can see that with it turned all the way up, that thing gets much, much brighter and that's on full gain. So it is, the light is correspondent to how much power is going through. Kind of cool, little unique feature, but I highly recommend this to anybody looking to get into um, headphone amps and DAC combos for you know, beginners into the audiophile community of, you know, high-end listening. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this short um, review of the Mica Origin. I'm going to link to Zeos's review um, since he gets all the credit for recommending this to me. And um, I'm also going to link to the product on Amazon if you guys want to pick one up yourselves. And I highly recommend getting this over pretty much anything else on the market. Um, I hope this review was sufficient. I know Zeos' review is the only other review of this, so thanks.